Mediumship readings are all about the evidence. When you're doing a reading, you have to give specific evidence or describe what you see. Otherwise, it's really general and uh, doesn't really qualify as a mediumship reading. I'm going to give you an example of one of my favorite readings that was so detailed. Uh, and here, here's how it went. So I connected with the client and right away I saw what appeared to be grandmother's feet in slippers. So I described the slippers, I described what the feet look like, and I said, yeah, it it's, looks like there would be grandma's feet. And then I described the floor, the wooden floor that I see the feet sitting on. I also saw, saw some type of chair that grandmother was sitting in. So far I said, I got yeses from the client. Yes, it's my grandmother. Yes, she wore slippers. Yes, she would sit in a chair. And yes, that room had a wooden floor. Okay, we stopped there. Then reconnecting with grandmother and you know, I said, you know, show me, like I'm talking to you. I'm like, okay, show me a little more information. Apparently that you're, you want to connect with your granddaughter. Tell me a story, grandma. I go give me a little more information. So then I see these feet get up out of the chair and sit on the edge of the bed. That's great. I'm like, okay, so grandmother, she's now showing me that she would sit on the edge of the bed. I described what I could see on the bed, which was some type of quilting or blanket. And client said, yes, grandmother would sit on the bed. Then I see in my, my third eye, just one feather. I'm like, hmm, okay, that's not too much information on that. So I said, I go, okay, I see a feather. Then all of a sudden my mind went, you know, off track. And I'm like, okay, so, you know, maybe you live on a farm. You had some geese or ducks or, and the client was like, no, no farm, no geese, no ducks. I'm like, okay, when you get a no from your client, right away, stop, pull back, reconnect with spirit. So I took a deep breath and I said, okay, grandma, <laughs> I went off track. Please help me explain what you were trying to tell, you know, your granddaughter. What's with this feather? So we go back to the feather. I'm like, okay, I see the feather. Please give me more information. Then the grandmother shows me the top of the bed. I'm like, oh, pretty bed. I described the bed to the client. Client's like, yes, that, that was the bed. And I see these two pillows. And I'm like, okay, every bed has pillows on them. Nothing exciting here, nothing unique. And I'm like, spirit, details, please. Then she, then she shows me, the grandmother, the feather and the pillows, and they become one. I said, ah, on the bed that you sat with your grandmother were two feather pillows. Client was like, yes, we had these soft, amazing feather pillows. I'm like, okay, we'll make a progress. Like, okay, good. Um, I was like, okay, so I got excited about that because that was really big detail. Went back with grandmother. I was like, okay, grandmother, let's continue your story. What would you like to tell your granddaughter? Then also my third eye focuses to the end table. I described the end table. I mean, we all have end tables by our bed. Most of us do. No big deal there. So I took it one step further and I, and I really focused what was on top of the end table. I see books. Okay, we do have books on in our end tables, perhaps. I mean, I don't, but I know some people do. And so I'm like, okay, Grandma, give me details, please. What's with the books? Then like a tele telescopic lens, telephoto lens, my eyes went right to the books. And I'm looking at these books and I'm like, there, there were a series of books. So I said, okay, to the client, okay. So on top of the table, there were books. Client said, yes. I'm like, there was a series of books. Client said, yes. And I always tell my clients, do not give me any information unless I tell you, you know, to clarify something. So that's all the client was saying was yes or no. I said, okay, so the books, I, I needed to know more information about these books. So. You know, I pulled back a little bit and I'm looking at the books and I see them right in front of me. And I counted the books. One, two, three, four, five, six. I described these books. And then I just felt like, you know, yes, that's what I wanted to tell my granddaughter. I'm like, okay, we just got chills. I said, okay, so you sat, maybe not every night, but with your grandmother at night on this bed as she tucked you in and read stories to you at night. Client said, yes. I go on the end table that was by your bed was a series of books vertically in like a little box. Client said, yes. 
I go, in that series of books, there were six books. Client said, yes, there were six books. I'm like, and I felt like that, you know, that was enough of information to give to um, you know, the client. So grandmother was saying how she enjoyed sitting with her granddaughter. These nights meant the world to her, to sit with her on this soft, comfy bed with these feather pillows. And she read these this series of books to her over and over and over and over again. This was a memory that this that grandmother is trying to convey to her granddaughter that that time they spent together was very precious to, to her. And, and the client, she says, yeah, she goes, that was my grandmother to the T and I still have those books. Oh my gosh, I, I loved that reading. I thought it was amazing. And that is evidential mediumship. A mediumship reading is not a mediumship reading unless you give evidence like that. I mean, on, on a certain level, you can say, yeah, you know, your grandmother's here and she read to you at night. Yes, 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 she did. That's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, so did 90% of other grandmas. Get details. You must, from the medium, you know, that you, you're sitting with, you must get details. Otherwise, you know, you might be, you know, a little, what I call fluffy reading, which I don't want to say is okay. Um, I mean, if you're happy with a fluffy reading, that's okay. But for me, you know, when I do these readings, it has to be details that I would have no idea of knowing, you know. Yeah, grandmother reads every night or grandfather. Yeah, that's fine. But what did she read? What kind of books? How often? What, what, what did the bed look like? Oh, that's what you need to hear. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my story of evidential mediumship. And like I said, when you're getting a reading from medium, look for those details. Okay, bye-bye.